how to calm your dog during fireworks. This is July 1st, 2021. Boy, what a difference a year makes. Last year, because of the COVID restrictions, there were no fireworks displays. The towns and cities canceled their celebrations. This year, because the restrictions have been lifted in many towns and cities, they're planning these massive celebrations with loads of fireworks booming into the air. And if you have a dog that's afraid of fireworks, how is your dog gonna cope with these fireworks? Well, here are some tips to help you, to help your dog to be calm during fireworks. First, give your dog lots of exercise. That means I was out this morning walking my dogs at 7 a.m. Get them out early before people are even thinking about fireworks. Now this is only the first, but I'm sure there are gonna be fireworks tonight and the second and the third, building up to the fourth. So how do you give them exercise? Long walks. Make sure that your harness is on securely and that you have a collar with your tags, your ID, your microchip, all firmly attached to the collar. This is the time when more dogs are lost than any other time of the year. So you want your dog to be identified. Put a picture of your dog on your phone. So if you do lose your dog for any reason and you come up on a person, you can immediately show them the picture on your phone. So when you go for a walk, you have your harness secure, you have your collar, your tags, your leash, carry some treats and go out early. Once you come back from your walk, give your dog more physical exercise. This is the time. Take them out in the yard. If you don't have a fenced area, put a long leash on them. Here are my dogs going over some jumps. Anything to give them some exercise. Throw a toy, play fetch. You want your dog tired by the time the fireworks start. And on these days, the fireworks could start midday or early afternoon. Physical exercise is only the beginning. Then you want to have mental exercise. Here is Nikki with one of her favorite toys, the Omega Paw Tricky Treat Ball. Put in some dog food and let your dog have fun with it during the middle of the day. Any of the Nina Otison games and puzzles are great to give your dog some mental stimulation. Trixie, Mad Scientist, is a great one for your dog. These are all mental stimulation games. I'll put all the links below to all of these that will help your dog to be physically and mentally tired. Now you're going to prepare for the evening of the fireworks. First, you're going to take your Kongs and stuff them. Here you see me stuffing a Kong with cream cheese. I have one with pumpkin, with their raw food. There's going to be three or four Kongs stuffed and frozen in my freezer for the day. So they are hard when I get them out and it will take them lo the dogs longer to empty them. In addition to the Kongs, I prepare my house. A Daptil diffuser, which sprays a calming spray. An Adaptil collar, which you can put on your dog to help them relax. Also, you prepare a dark room. Make sure that the curtains are pulled, that it's a room that's far away from the outside of the house, somewhere in the middle of the house. And you prepare their crate. You want to help your dog to like the crate. So if you haven't done that by now, then you want to look at the video above on helping your dog with crate training. Once you have the crate prepared, I have blankets that I throw over the crate so that it's a nice cozy den. I play relaxation music. You can download that music on your phone or on your iPad and just let it run on a continuous loop because you want to drown out that noise from the fireworks. You're doing everything you can to prepare your house, to prepare your dog, 
But there's one more thing you can do. There's Rescue Remedy. It's an all natural flower essence, which may help your dogs to relax. In addition to the flower essences, the white noise, the relaxing music, the calm room, you can also put a thunder shirt on your dog. This is a thunder shirt. They also have a thunder spray, which you can spray right on this patch on the thunder shirt. This goes on, fits loosely around the neck. The idea is that the thunder shirt should fit tight around the middle of the body. Then this strap fits snug. So to Velcro it snug so that this is loose and then you pull this one down. A thunder shirt, it's like giving your dog a hug. If you're going to use a thunder shirt, try to use it before the 4th of July so your dog gets used to it. So they enjoy wearing it. So it's a fun, place, fun thing to do. You have your thunder shirt, you have your darkened room, you have your white noise, you have your relaxing music, you have your Kongs. You're as prepared as you can be for the fireworks. One thing I would never do is take a dog to a fireworks celebration. Think about how loud it would be because their hearing is so much stronger than ours. So they would just be devastated by the fireworks sounds and vibrations. So your dog is all set for the fireworks celebration. And if none of this works, boy, I sit with my dog, I wrap them in a blanket, I stay close to them, I just sort of stay with them and try to ride it out with them. If your dog is really unnerved by the fireworks, then help your dog. Talk to your veterinarian, ask them for medication so that you can help your dog get through the fireworks. Now the worst is gonna be probably the second, third, and fourth of July. After that, it will be periodic and maybe a little bit every night. We play a game and this game is whenever the fireworks start, just a, a soft boom in the distance, I start to throw treats and I tell my dogs, take it and I let them have a treat. When I hear a fireworks boom and I say, take it and my dog eats the treat, they're starting to feel that the fireworks mean food. That is a way to help your dog to be desensitized to the fireworks. Takes a lot of training, a lot of time, and of course, if the booms get too close, then we come inside. We have our Kongs ready. We have our games ready to play, and we're all set to try to cope with the fireworks. Be careful about keeping your dog out in the yard. Many dogs have gone over fences, through fences, dug under fences, gone through doors. So many dogs are lost on the 4th of July because of their sheer panic when they hear the fireworks. So keep your dog inside, keep them safe. When you're outside with them, keep a leash on them so you really have control if they start to panic. I hope this video has given you some ideas to help keep your dog calm during the fireworks. If you'd like more videos on how to keep your dog calm, here's one on the 2020 fireworks and also on the 4th of July of 2019. Thank you. Please remember, subscribe to my channel, ring the bell, and leave me some comments about how you help your dog to cope with the fireworks. Thank you and have a great fourth from Nikki and from Joyce. Bye-bye.